guys and welcome to 2013. Now this is a time for New Year's resolutions and for me, I don't know there's not actually that much going on in there, but for you, you might think maybe I need a new computer. And if you do need a new computer, why get a massive great big tower when you could be getting one that's only about that big? So what this video is all about is a small rig that's extremely powerful. Now, the rig I'm about to show you is actually more powerful than my main one that I did a, a couple of weeks ago uh, for about the same sort of price. So this is all about the Bit Phoenix Prodigy. Yeah. Now, the Bit Phoenix Prodigy is an amazing case. It's incredibly popular, and that's because it looks the business and it's so small, but you can fit so much in there. Um, it's currently going out of stock in places, which makes me think that maybe there's a new one coming out soon, but obviously only time will tell. But until then, let's check out my rig for the 2013 Prodigy rig. So that's right, yeah. Yes. Firstly, we have the case, which is obviously the bit fitted to Prodigy. Now, this comes in four different colours, I believe. There is red, orange, white and black and it's for about £65 and you can pick it up at quite a few good retailers, Am Amazon do it, uh, I think Scan used to do it, I'm not sure if they still do, but you can pick it up there. Now the motherboard that goes in it is a mini ITX board. Now for this uh, I've got the Gigabyte GAC77N. Now this actually has a Wi-Fi module built into it, it's £88 and it's a really good board for the price and it's one that's going to fit inside. Now, as for the graphics card, um, in my one a couple of weeks ago I recommended the 7850 because it's a good card and it was at a fantastic price. But, I think for this one uh, we've got to go one up because you can now get the 7870 for around £160. Um, currently you can get the XF XFX Radeon HD 7870 for £161 and that's a fantastic price and you're going to be kicking some console ass with this card. Now obviously you're going to need a processor and it's the fairly standard i5-3570K because it's a fantastic processor, you're not going to get any better for gaming really at all and you can overclock it so that's a great thing to have. Now, you're going to want to cool that, if you're going to want to overclock it. And then the Bit Phoenix Prodigy air cooling's not really going to cut it so much because it's quite a small case. So we've got the Corsair H60 2013 edition uh, cooler. So this is their H60, but it's a slightly newer version and it's meant to be quite quiet and it's going to be able to overclock it really well and whilst balancing that out with um, like noise you're not really going to want something that's going to be quite noisy um, so I would really recommend the Corsair H60 and the cooler was £55 and the iPhone 3570K was £162 now as for RAM, fairly standard Corsair um, Vengeance RAM 8GB of that should do you fine, that comes in different colours but because it's a black board I would put the black, the grey, blacky version of the Vengeance RAM in. Now next you're going to need a power supply. Now choosing a power supply for the Bit Phoenix Prodigy can be a little bit difficult uh, because it recommends that it's no bigger than I think it's 140mm. But the power supply I'd recommend would be the Seasonic S12 620 watts. Now they also do a 520 watt version so you could look at that but just uh, because you can't really expand this sm small machine, that is the only downside to it. So unlike on the other version when I re where I recommended a 750 watt power supply, you're not going to be able to ever put two graphics cards on this board. So you don't actually have to kind of worry about what you're going to do so much in the future. So this um, 620 power watt power supply is going to do you really nicely. It's going to be quite quiet and because it's a lower voltage you're actually going to be more power efficient it's rated bronze for efficiency now for the optical drive you don't need one at all but they're not very expensive and you've got a slot so you should get one now you can either get a DVD drive for around 13-15 pounds but currently you can get um, some good deals at the moment on Blu-ray drives 
So it, it will only read discs, you won't be able to write Blu-ray discs. Um, but you'll be able to read on and play Blu-rays and this is the drive I recommend is the light on Blu-ray drive and it's around £26 at the moment and for £26 the ability to display Blu-rays is really good so I'd recommend that drive. Now as for hard drives you're going to want two one solid state drive and you're also going to want a normal hard drive. Now the SSD I'd recommend is the Samsung 840 series. I've got an 830 series and it's doing fantastic and their newer one's meant to be even better. It's 120 gig and it costs 90 pounds and that is going to make your computer stand out from anyone that doesn't have one and it's by far the most really the most useful component that you're going to have. Um, the hard drive pretty much anyone will do as long as it's 7200 RPM and you can get good deals at the moment on a Seagate one terabyte drive and that's £55. Just so you know, I'm current, the hard drives in my computer, I've got one 500 gig, uh, another 500 gig that was taken from somewhere else and a 250 gig hard drive as a backup as well as the SSD. So you don't really need more than a terabyte of space because I've got loads of games installed and that's only on a 500 gig hard drive so don't worry about going stupid about hard drive. Finally, you're going to need a copy of Windows. And I've said it before and I'm going to say it again, Windows 8 is the best uh, operator, operating system you can get at the moment. Now a lot of people disagree but I think they disagree just for the sake of disagreeing because of what they've seen, what they've read and yes the most obvious thing about Windows is this little thing here. But there's way more to it than that, it's essentially an improved Windows 7 with this on top. You don't have to use this, and once you get around with the shortcut keys, it's really good, and I assure you that if you do get it, you won't be disappointed. So that's it for the rig, that's going to cost £870, and that's a fantastic price, you won't ever need to expand that, because you can't, but you won't need to anyway, you've got a fantastic graphics card in there, you've got fantastically fast storage, and the whole system looks the business as well. Now, what else would I recommend? Well. Obviously, if you want a monitor, you want a keyboard, and you want a mouse, then the ones of them I would recommend, um, I'd recommend the L, what was it, the LG IPS 234V monitor. That's about £110. Fantastic picture quality. Slightly dodgy stand, but fantastic picture quality. It's an IPS panel, and I, I want one. I mean, this monitor here is the 120Hz TN one, and the colours look a bit flat, a bit naff. You know, it's... I'd take it over just having one monitor because of the 120Hz refresh rate, but you really should be getting an IPS panel. Then, as for the keyboard, it's actually the keyboard that I have here, which is the Cooler Master um, Quickfire TK. You can see the unboxing of that uh, I did, and I've got the eight days coming up um, a couple of days later. And then the mouse I've got is the Logitech G400, which is a great mouse. If you want to spend a bit more, then start looking at the Corsair, Corsair FPS mouse, um, because that's really good as well. So, thanks for checking out this video. I hope it's helped. I'm sure, that may, well, not sure, but maybe if you were going to build it, you'd do something, something slightly different. But I think this setup that I've just told you here is easily going to set you apart from a lot of other people and to have one of these small rigs now is really cool um, in both cooling terms and obviously it's pretty dandy. I'll see you next time. Which is fantastic, you, you won't need any, put anything else in there unless you want things like lighting, you won't be able to fit a sound card in and I'm ringing. So, oh. all right, all right, I'm actually filming, I'm on camera at the moment.